Hi guys, Josh here from the Hampshire Business Show, which takes place on Thursday, the 14th of October, in person this year at the GS Bowl Stadium in Southampton. I'm joined by the CEO of Alltex, Mr. Don Iroh, uh, who someone I've been working with for a while, really, really good guy. And um, I think he's gonna be an awesome addition to our already incredible lineup this year at the show. So so Don, thanks for uh, thanks for coming along. Thanks for having me, Josh. Always, always a pleasure to see you. Um, and so I think, first of all, thank you for agreeing to speak at the show. Um, I think you're going to provide some brilliant value to our to our visitors. And I suppose really the point of this video is to talk about, I suppose, what they can expect to hear from your talk at the show. So I, I think before we get into that, do you mind giving us a quick rundown of kind of who you are, a bit, a bit about your background and kind of what's got you to this point? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Josh. Um, it is a pleasure to uh, to be able to share this with you and, and ultimately share with the uh, the audience in October. Um, so a bit of, a bit about me. So you, you said it, um, CEO of Alltex Limited. Uh, my background has seen me across the world, um, working in larger and smaller organizations, driving digital change, essentially, um, in multiple sectors. And, and they've kind of sort of geared me towards, uh, towards the role I'm doing today. Um, so I moved to the UK in, uh, in 2004, um, went to university in 2004. There's a very important story there because, you know, the same university I attended um, in the UK, I've ended up as a governor today. Um, in the same university, I met my now business partner in all techs. Um, and I studied electronic engineering as every, everyone else who, uh, who, who uh, studied in a STEM sort of um, course or environment. Um, I went into the IT electronic sort of sensory type of industry. Um, and I worked my way through to multiple roles in project management, customer service, um, and and uh, actually that saw me leading a significant program in China. Um, I got bored of doing that after a couple of years. I wanted to come back to the UK. Came back to the UK to work for a large system implementation business, and that's where I bumped into Toyin again, who's my business partner. And uh, long story short, we ended up um, partnering with Alltex. Um, and, and it's been it's been it's been an interesting journey since then. Uh, we've been we've been driving a significant growth plan, uh, a growth ambition. We're in the IT space. Anything IT we provide. Um, but for me, what's more important now is that you know I'm, I'm playing a role in in you know growing a business, growing people, right, growing a culture, and driving a very very important message, which is. You know, you can you can really achieve whatever you want to achieve if you focus on on uh, on the positives, right, and, and drive that through an organisation. So yeah, so you know, being able to provide that sort of knowledge and a backdrop of IT is is what fascinates me essentially. That's awesome, and um, and I suppose it's you know you t you talk about digital transformation, how it's kind of been you know I suppose quite fundamental to your role over the last few years and. And, uh, and obviously, I know that's kind of central to what your talk's going to be about the show. So, you know, digital transformation, it's a term, I think you'll agree, Don, that kind of gets thrown around everywhere. Like, you know, digital transformation is one of those sometimes buzzwords, as it were. So so, so what does it actually mean? Yeah, so so that's interesting. So you're, you're right in the sense that digital transformation has been actually abused in the sense that you know, <laughs> everyone's been talking about it and not, not so many people really understand what digital transformation is. I think digital transformation... Um, has already, I mean, digital transformation had happened years ago, right? And I, I wrote an interesting uh, sort of piece on LinkedIn um, a year ago, uh, which I, I actually said just before the pandemic, uh, digital transformation had already happened, right? Um, across the spectrum, across the industries, right? So today we're talking on a video call, um, yeah. you know, video conference. It, these things already existed, right? I think it was all about people waking up to to embracing it, right? I think you find in every scenario, every use case, you've got about, well, you've got more than one solution to do that. Um, and and you, could, you could do a scorecard across all sorts of technologies and, you know, whatever suits, suits your, your current business process. I think the problem was the people actually stepping <clears> into <throat> it. Um, and, and COVID has played a significant role in, in pulling people to to embrace technology. I think that's one of the biggest oh, sure. positives. Um, so, you know, you look back a year ago, two years ago, IT, digital, 
in boardrooms used to be a, an appendix to their strategy. Today, you've really got to have digital at the heart of what you do. So, um, so a lot of people would say digital transformation, but they meant system implementation. I think a successful digital transformation is pretty much 20 to 30% of IT and digital. It's 70 to 80% of business change, you know, culture, transformation, process implementation, optimization. It's, it's taking technology and thinking, and then what? And working your way into technology as opposed to buying technology and working your way out and saying, we've got technology today. How do we adapt to technology? No, it's we've got a business today. What technology could we use to transform it? And I think it's a, it's a shift in mindset. We're, we're making that journey today, you know, with, with, with where we find ourselves. But there's still a lot to be done. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. And I suppose a lot of what you said there is going to it's going to tie into what's kind of going to I suppose going to be the the uh, the foundation of your talk, right? So do you want to kind of I suppose give us a a, a slight summary or, or a blurb, as it were, for, uh, for for what our visitors can expect on there? Absolutely. So so the talk is pretty is pretty practical, um, and and it's it's talking to um, it's talking to a right a large variety of of, of you know industries and and companies and 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 players in that space because uh, i i see four categories you know in in this sort of box of digital and transformation if you like so at the top end you've got organizations that have really um harnessed the the, the value of technology they're using things like you know an ai and they're using machine learning to, to transform the way they they deliver services and, and actually rip the benefits of, of digital, which is essentially data and and streamlined processes and, and, and procedures, right? Um, so that's the highest level, right? And then you've got the third level who have got large budgets, they've invested a lot in in digital, and they've they've delivered a number of system implementations, um, but they're still going through the journey of actually and now embracing it from a business standpoint. And then the third, sorry, the second, the second, which is essentially next to the to the bottom of it, are people who started to look at their systems. So they're in implementation and, and they're working through their processes. And I think there is the digital sort of excluded part, which is around the third sector and charities and, and smaller businesses, uh, startups who need to get their heads around what technology is and, and how you can really transform that. And some of their challenges is not necessarily about the, the usage of technology. It's in some cases about the um, the time, you know, yeah. just the time to, to understand the, the value of technology and how they can utilize it to achieve their goals. And what this would actually help you, and I, I'm hoping people can actually benefit from this, is, is the, it's kind of a blueprint to to lift and shift into your organization, to look across your ecosystem, look across your business space and kind of go, right, how do I get quicker to the customer more efficiently using the resources and the tools that I currently have? And, and how can I really transform my business and my partner base and all of the, all of the elements or the pieces to the puzzle that play into this ingredient that I offer as a service to my customers or products. How do I bring that together, harness that with technology and consulting and achieve a greater goal? And that greater goal could be more efficiency. It could be better products. It could be a better roadmap. It could actually be, you know, in some cases it could be innovation. It could be a, a bit of R and D, a bit of co collaboration with a bunch of other people. Um, and, and it's really giving people the blueprint to be able to uh, to to excel using digital. Don, that is an absolutely awesome uh, kind of description of what, what our visitors can expect at the show. I, I'm looking forward to it, to be fair. So I'm going to make sure that I pigeonhole myself that that 30 minute slot to make sure I come along and see. Um, but honestly, Don, thank you once again for for agreeing to speak at the show for one. Um, as I said, guys, I think I think you've heard it right there from Don. That it's going to be an awesome talk, um, 
And uh, the, the timings of TBC, so at the point of filming this video, um, we'll, we'll release timings close to the time, uh, close to the date in terms of what time Don Stortle that should be on. Uh, if you've not registered for your free ticket yet, head straight up to HampshireBusinessShow.com. It's completely free to attend. Network, collaborate, upskill. Uh, Thursday the 14th of October. We we'll look forward to seeing you. Don, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Josh. Cheers. Bye.